how are you doing good day to you all thanks for watching god bless you today by god's grace and by the help of the holy spirit our lesson is gonna be titled which way are you going which way are you going amen in our passage today jesus christ was counseling his disciples in um, matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14 let's read enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way that leads to life and there are few who find it amen this uh challenging word from jesus christ to his disciples and is earnestly lovingly counseling them enter by the narrow gate enter by the narrow gate praise the lord jesus was able to describe two ways for us two ways for us and this calls for us to uh take we should consider our ways. We should stop and like, which way am I going? Praise the Lord. Let's look at uh, these two ways. The first way, Jesus says, For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. There are many who go in by it. Why? Why are so many people going in by head? And I want to ask, why is the gate wide and why is it broad? Why is the way broad? Praise the Lord. This is the way of the world. You don't need to look for it. It's so wide. The gate is wide and the way is broad. Jesus says, many... And there are many who go in by it. Yes. And where does it lead to? Destruction. So why is it broad? Why are many people going into it? Can't they see that is leading to destruction? The road is the popular road. The road is the way of the world. It's the way of the world. It's beautiful. It's attractive. It's, uh, it's easy. Anything goes in that road. You can do whatever you like. You don't need to carry your cross on that road. Yes. It's the way of a celebrity. If you want to be popular, if you want to be rich, if you love money, you love pleasure, the, the road is, is pleasurable. You can do whatever. On that road, they call good evil. They call evil good. It's for everybody. That's why the Bible is saying many, and there are many who go in by it. Because it's easy. It's pleasurable. It's fun. Yes. My brothers and sisters in Christ, which way are you going? Which way are you going? And look at what the Bible says. He said, uh, the way, it leads to destruction. It leads to destruction. It's so beautiful. So many people are deceived. That, oh, it's okay. We are enjoying ourselves. They don't know that there's a trap. A trap at the end of the road. It leads to destruction. And so, Jesus is calling them. Enter by the narrow gate. Enter by the narrow gate. Yes, many people, religious people, moralistic people, good people, they are going through this broad way. It's the way of the world. It's easy. It's comfortable. Yes, whatever you want to do, you can do it on that road. 
It's your way. It's your will. You're free. It's free for all. Yes. But the hand is destruction. So why is Jesus canceling us? Because he loves us. He loves us dearly and is pleading. Enter by the narrow gate. Let's look at the narrow gate. What? Why is this narrow gate? Uh, why is it narrow and difficult? Why is the way difficult? Hmm. I had to. It's because it's the way of the cross. That's the only way your cross can go in. It is the way of righteousness. It is the only way where you can find Jesus, where you can follow Jesus. Amen. It's the way that it's not easy. It's full of pain. It's full of suffering, abandonment. There's sorrow. There's difficulty. Mm -hmm. Denier of self is not pleasurable. Jesus says, if you want to be my disciple, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross daily and follow me. That's the way to follow Jesus. That's the only way. It's narrow. Sin cannot enter there. Mm -mm. Yourself, worldliness cannot go in there. You have to drop them. Worldliness cannot go in. It is the way of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. And what is the hand? The Bible says it leads to life. It leads to life. Which way are you going? It is the way, this narrow way, the fruit of this way is righteousness, is holiness, joy, peace, blessings of God, godliness. Yes, that is the fruit. When you endure, when you love Jesus and you obey him, and you are uh, following him in uh, obedience, it's, go it's going to bear fruit for you. Fruit of righteousness, joy, peace, blessings, holiness. Praise the Lord. But the way of uh, the world, the broad way, leads to destruction. My brothers and sisters, which way are you going? Many people started well. They've started following the Lord. But when they see, oh, this way is difficult, this way is narrow, this way is so full of pain, suffering, they decided to switch to the broad way. Is that you? You need to turn back now, fast, repent. And come back, seek the Lord with all your heart to start walking on the narrow path. Please, the Lord is uh, pleading, enter, enter by the narrow gate. He said, few finds it. Why? Why are there few people that find it? Because it's not easy. It's difficult. Yes. Many people who, who were coming were on the road. When they saw that it's narrow, it's difficult, it's challenging, the cares of life, the uh, deception of the broad way, pull them away. Lies of the devil, pull them away into the broad way. Once saved, forever saved. Then they went away, oh, I don't need to do all this uh, difficult suffering. After all, I'm saved. Forever I'm saved. So they, they went back to the broad way. Path that broad path does not lead to life, it leads to destruction. And God wants us to examine ourselves to consider which way are you going? Yeah, you may say, I believe in Jesus, it's okay, I'm fine. Yes, the Bible says the devil believes. Yes, many religious people too believe they believe in Jesus, only that they are not following Jesus. They don't love Jesus with their hearts. They love him with their mouth. Their works is not the works of Jesus Christ. So it's, it's on the broad way. They are going. You don't want to follow them. Please, if you desire to follow Jesus, to, to go to heaven, what are you doing on the broad road? 
Make a U-turn fast. Jesus is calling you. Repent. There's two room. Seek for uh, seek the Lord now. Why you may be found? Which way are you going? Are you there? You have not given your life to Jesus Christ. You need to repent. Ask Jesus for forgiveness. Come to Him. He will forgive you. Repent of your sins. And receive Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Start following Him. As you walk in, uh, in obedience, studying your word, studying the scripture, praying, and um, shunning evil and sin. Continue to follow Jesus daily. I pray the Lord will give us grace and the strength to endure to the end as we walk the narrow path. Praise the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen.